What is 50-50? What is really 50-50? 50-50 to what, me... Then what um, is really 50-50? You, you, you pay the rent together, you buy food in the house together, you pay school fees together, I thought it was just yeah. you, you tackle one bill, I tackle this bill. That's the that's the fifty fifty state. Okay. So what's wrong with that though? Uh what's wrong with that? In I, Africa it's a bit different. Anytime you see me talk, you think about Africa, you think about the African values, and you think about the beauty of Africa. So we are in this good place, beautiful place just sitting and relaxing and um, to add on it whenever you see something like this then you know men are at work i'm here with one and only shabi from the black geo shabi from the black geo better like and subscribe people yeah go see africa what's going on man i'm good so i have a discussion today uh african men were brought up yeah to be heads of our family to be heads of the clan head of the uh, of the community so if you are a man in your community then you have a very huge responsibility and the community really depends on you you know at times as an african might be logic whenever you you are out there especially you are in the western world and uh, you find a man wanting to share responsibilities with a woman, you know. We know it's res the responsibility of of a of of a, of a woman to <laughs> to carry a baby on their <laughs> on their belly, you know. <laughs> Can never be the same responsibility with a man, you know. As a man, you are there to make sure. Uh, she's safe whenever maybe she's pregnant. You make you you there to make sure that your family and your woman they eat, they eat, they eat, they eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are there to make sure that they are housed and they are secure. I don't know what's your view about the same, bro. Well, well, this what I'm gonna say. I told I, I told Gosi Africa. I have a unique uh, story growing up with parents from Africa, born and raised in Africa, coming mm -hmm. to a country they're not uh, from, getting no assistance from a country, um, finally getting their citizenship in their 60s. You know, that's how my parents lived in America. So, um, because- Yeah, um, Shabi is from West Africa, yeah. Liberia. Yeah. So we can start from there. Yeah, being a Liberian kid, a lot of Liberians come to America. Um, if you see us living good, maybe 20 years later, it's because a lot of us put in work, uh, my generation of Liberians, when they first came to this country, I mean Liberia, I mean America, stayed in small shacks. That's how I tell my Kenyan friends, um, even my friends in South America I used to battle with. And uh, they used to tell me like, oh, you you live in America, you can live a good, good life. I'm telling people, even back home, when I come to your house in Kenya, to uh, Argentina, to uh, even Liberia, you're... you're your small, I would say your your first person quality of life is better than anybody else's over there. Yeah, you, know, you understand. I lived in, a, I grew up in um, high school in America. I lived in a uh, house where me and my mother shared the same room. Yes, people, in high school. I came home in America, why mm -hmm. Connie, not in Africa. Came home. I used to have to bring my. If I was dating somebody, she slept in the same room. <laughs> my mother used to let my my girlfriend whatever. Yeah, that's how. We live. It struggles. Maybe over. some people think you are more privileged than them. Because the only privilege you're gonna have is saying that you're in America. When you're in America, you already gotta get in the ground and run it. You don't get it to America and it's a check waiting for you. It's a house waiting for you. No, it's bills waiting for you. It's taxes waiting for you. You have to work okay? for you to eat. You have to work, especially when you're a black person. My father didn't understand it because he comes from Liberia. No white man can hold office in Liberia. So when an African man like my father, who's very strong-minded, came to America and seen the dynamic because you know Africa we deal with colonialism America we dealt with uh, Jim Crow of course sl slavery that was brought from you know the slave trade so um, the, uh, the history of uh, you know that battle between racism in America um, you have to be there to know the history first before you get there that's why I tell a lot of Africans read up the history first and see what the Africans uh, American Africans have been through and why we are affected like that people are affected over there 
Mm-hmm. And so you see the morality. Some people are defeated, some others are defeated because, trust me, a lot of our leaders in America, even Africa, you read up on, Kwame Nkrumah went to school in America. He studied a lot of American leaders. So people in Africa need to know the American leaders uh, who fought for us, passed away. And yeah, a lot of us struggle in America. I mean, me, I'm, I'm Liberian, but of course I studied, and I'm also related to American leaders also. So our American ancestors, a lot of us, uh, a lot of us was killed. A lot of our missions were killed. A lot of businesses were killed. We had our own cities in America. Yeah, we had our own communities. That's why you hit, see the Hidden History series we do. We saw a lot of hidden uh, neighborhoods they wouldn't tell you that was fully black neighborhoods. So um, you come to America as a foreigner, you might think like, oh, these American Africans kind of defeated. Why Why do you don't work so hard? Or why Why he let the white people talk to them like that? Or that? You got to understand the history first of what this our, our essence of, of, of Africans over there been through. It's a lot, you know, and it goes through lineage too. Um, if your grandfather went through stuff, we all have the ancestors, uh, DNA of our ancestors. So if my grandfather went through a lot of trials and tribulations, I'm gonna have, regardless of I'm going through it, I'm still gonna feel that growing up in life because I have that DNA from my grandfather. If so, my people went through struggle, <clears throat> I'm still gonna have that struggle in me. My people went through, my people were strugglers, hustlers, you know, and they, they are fighters. So I have that in me. It's never a day I can just get down and lay down. If I never have nothing, I'm, I'm a person where I'm always going to go out and get something for myself. And I get that from my lineage. You know, we was never taught in America to wait for somebody. My parents, 14, kicked me out of the house in a good way. Go out there and get some money. Get your own business. The Black Geo Bay started since hey, I was 14. 14. The Black Geo Bay started since I was 14. I had my own business since I was 15. Even my friends. Wow. You know, so. Businessmen being business minded started at a young age because my parents, whatever job they was working, they always had to have their own business. America didn't give my parents nothing but struggle, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And to this day, whatever sleep my parents can get, this is the best sleep they probably sleep in their whole life, okay? Wow. And it's still not the um, top 10 living because I told you, Mr. Obama living 10 times better than when my parents living in, and he lives in Africa, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all these people. Kyoko's that we know. Shout yeah. out to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I live 20, 100 Shout times better. Kiyoko, Nicholas Kyoko. You live 100 times Ricky. better than people over there. We t- the only thing people have over these people is nothing have over nothing. It's just you, you can say, oh, I'm over here. I'm over there. But we do know some creators. We're going to speak their name. They, they don't tell you. When they go into these countries, they only flex it on you on Instagram. I'm a traveler. I've been to these countries too. I've been broke in some countries. I, I can't lie. I'm not going to lie to people. Yeah, I've been some countries think I'm on this much and end up broke in a few days. Yeah, because <laughs> guess what? The only flex you have over people is, uh, yeah, I may be in Hawaii, I may be in France, whatever. But when that camera go off, they don't tell you they, they eating bread and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> they not eating no I told my brother. They ain't eating no good. No chocolate and zooty. Be crazy. <laughs> they eating burgers and fries. A uh, coupon. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I still got coupons on my phone too. For some restaurants. I save money too, people. So yeah, that, that's what people take. Yeah, you might be, oh, you travel here, you live here. But yeah, when that phone goes off, it's a lot of people living a hard life. And the most homeless people in the world that you will see on the street is in America. Trust me, well, most home. If you ever go to, I know cities, no place in the, in the world I go to. The most people you see homeless the, is in Africa the U.S. Africa always fight to, uh, maybe and to can go I to, that? To, to get up in the trees to travel to America mm-hmm. and. Uh, but they, they learn quick that you're on your own. I mean, you have family, of course, yeah. but still you have to do things on your own. No matter how much family you have yeah. in a country. Why, why is it that those homeless guys yeah. don't uh, they come work to, towards making money and okay. moving to? You gotta Africa. Can, can you imagine? Trying to get the energy. First off, you you, talk, you said you talk to people who ate today. They ate. They've been eating every day, drinking every day, so their body should have enough energy to go out and get a job. Them say people who still don't want to work. Now you're talking to people who they don't have enough food to eat, enough clothes, haven't took a good shower. I'm talking about first off before you even go get a job, right? You gotta be full. Your belly gotta be full. Like, and what's that? We say belly full. Yeah. Right. When my belly full, I can do anything. Uh, <laughs> and belly full, I can go climb a mountain. <laughs> and belly full, I can go, I can go slap anybody in the world. But my belly not full, I can't mm-hmm. do nothing. So you tell, you talk to a homeless person saying, oh, "Why you, why you laying on the street?" That man ate, ate a good meal in, in three, four years. So you, yeah. it's hard to tell somebody. Mm-hmm. So first off, the people are defeated. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. talk to the most defeated people. Mm-hmm. We got people who are not defeated, who eat good food every day, who don't want to get out and work. So it's hard to tell the people. But. Um, like I said, America is a place, it's just like Kenya-wise, when we talk about people who's in the streets saying it's not enough jobs, not enough jobs. Same thing in these countries. Every country going through the same thing. It's not enough opportunity. A lot of people move to certain cities, New York, California, for opportunities, and you don't get it. 
it's only a limited amount of jobs and limited amount of spaces in these countries that you can get these jobs. Other than that, you're gonna work a regular job. Right. <laughs> you know, yeah. everybody can't be CEO people. Everybody can't be Jay Z. <laughs> it's only one spot. All right. Other than that, we all workers. Yeah. <laughs> True. Let's talk about the social responsibility. How okay, do you yeah, find yeah. it? Um, in America, you have to cost share 50 50 with your wife. Okay. In Africa, a man takes full responsibility. Okay. How about that? Well, uh, nowadays it's different because economies, people, um, we come from, a, I, I, I was raised from the, the Gen X, uh, I think the Gen, Gen Xers, the, they're, they're the older generation, right? The Gen X. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think they are Gen X. The older generation, the 1920s and them, and the, the baby boomers. They're the ones who yeah. raised me. Mm -hmm. Yes, back then you could do that. But nowadays it costs 20 times that to raise a whole family and one person. So even if I'm with somebody, she, she gotta be putting some work. And I hope that people who marry, uh, she's helping you out. Cause it's hard as to be one one salary. Uh, and you gotta be worth it too. Uh, I'm a person, I, I, tell, I have a story nowadays. I'm in my thirties people. I was born single, I wasn't born a twin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was born oh, you were born a twin? No, no, I said I wasn't born oh, a twin. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I wasn't born here. And it was no, I wasn't born. born and my, exactly. Mm -hmm. My mother didn't say it was another woman out here who was made, who was born for me. Okay. Yeah. So I ain't, I'm not here to be taking care of nobody, spending a hundred times of what my grandfather had to pay. My grandfather had 13 wives, people. Yeah. 13. Um, <laughs> so he had to spend, he, but guess what? We were born polygamous. Yeah, and my father, my father had multiple, I ain't going to say how much he did, but guess what? He had multiple wives, but guess what? For them, the money they had to spend, it's not always about money, it's about love too. Affects if you work for my mother's work, you know, love is love. Mm -hmm. But um, nowadays, this whole world is about, you got to pay. Yeah, you can't afford having 13 wives, but yeah, I mean, I would never even think about having multiple wives, but it's even general being one woman. Um, love is money, people. Cause money is love. So yeah. if you're gonna be with somebody, it don't matter. Money is money. We're gonna, you're gonna get money. Whatever. Just be worth it for me to spend money on, or whatever person. If you want to spend money nowadays, it can be in Africa or America. You can take care of somebody. Even America, there's people who take care of the whole women. They, they, they pay for everything. Is if you're worth it. That's all. Because nowadays, it's not. You can't do it as easily back then. Back then, they could get a regular job and take care of your grandmother, you, your auntie, four kids. Yeah, you could do that working at the mill. I can't do that no more. Now, now the question is. Yeah, you can't do that no more. Um, so you gotta put 50 /50. You expect to share fifty-fifty with no, your wife? No, and, no. Uh, allow me a minute. I, I, okay, I, 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 I found on it. I ain't cheap. No, 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 no. No, I found on it. I don't joke. No, I'm not. I'm not talking. Okay, it's not about you. <laughs> but, uh, a man okay. expects to share 50 50 with, mm -hmm. with the wife. Yeah. Do you expect the same lady to to cook for you in the house? What, what does that say? What, because what, in what, Africa, what, we are what, used what, to let's ask our women right, cooking for us. Real question. What is 50 50? What is really 50 50? 50 50 to what, me. Then what is um, 50 50? Because you, you pay the rent together, you buy food in the house okay. together, you pay school fees together. I thought it was just yeah. you, you tackle one bill, I tackle this bill. That's the that's the fifty fifty still. Okay. So what's wrong with that though? Uh what's wrong with that? In I, Africa it's a bit different. What else I said? We won't get at this topic, not to cut you off. You know. I mean majority uh, hopefully, majority of African women when they see that man paying all that damn bills and mm -hmm. paying all this and that and third, when he come home, she she jumping on his shoulder blade, right? Yeah. Okay, I hope that. But now some places I know people who pay all these bills. People, he come home, she's not jumping on his shoulder blade. I'm sorry, people. That's hard work. <laughs> he comes home, he pay all that bill. Soon as he caught the door open like this, she should be in the air like, eh, like, yeah, yeah jump yeah. right here, jump right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Same right. to me. I, I'm sorry. If, if a lady, if a lady receives okay, me from, 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 uh, from the door, you receive me with that kind of an hug, uh, you treat me so well, then there's no way Bro, I would not sorry. pay and then the you, bills. I can't pay the bills. They always say, oh, he just told my money. He said, no, he ain't told my money. But that's what y'all made it about. Mm -hmm. You made it about money. 50 50, y'all complain about even putting in. And it, you, we're talking about 50 50 with people who actually make money. Mm -hmm. Women make money, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they make money. And, and it's the even thing about more women. than us. I'm a person, I've been in relationships, and never did a woman give me a check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, never. And, 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 and when I say this person, you, have, you probably gave me something before, but it's not like they just say, give me money. And I don't respect women. But, um, Women out here, we love you out here. So you, if you love a man and you talk about real love, you want to bring in Christianity, 
giving money to your man or paying for something, it shouldn't be nothing because money is money, right? Yeah. If money, if money is just money, you should just be able to uh, give your money away too because we give our money away too. We, I give my money to charity. We got people we work with. We give our money away to people who are not blood to us. Or for, you know, for real reasons now. But that's how we are. Naturally, us men, and that's myself and my family, we naturally give us. I, I, I tell people all the time, I mean, um, I don't expect people to just hand me things, you know? I expect myself to go out there and do things for others. That's how I am, though. You know, I feel like that's my duty here on earth. But I'm just saying, in general, if I give something to people, I try not to even think about you owe me something or something. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm losing something. Because if I mess with you, like my friend, if you my friend, whatever, I'm going to do anything I can for you. Regardless if it's money or it's whatever. We're not going to think about, oh, I'm losing something. Oh, it, it should be 50. Oh, wow. Why I got to give you something? Just do it because I mess with you. If we cool, we cool. And if you're in a relationship with somebody, you like them. Money is money. Okay, I like him. Cool. You got money, right? Okay, boom. You should be able to spend money. It should not be about, oh, I like him, but he still got to do it. If you spend some money, you complain about you spend, oh, I spent 2000 Okay, you spent $2,000, and don't you love me? It's money, right? Okay, then to, next week, I'm going to spend 2000 Okay, we're, so we back at we back at square one. Yeah. Okay, ne- last money. week we spent it. So it's money is money. Okay, if you love somebody, you should be able to just give whatever you, you got yeah. to anybody. If mm-hmm. you love anybody, if you love somebody, you should be able to give whatever you got. To your resources to anybody. Is anybody be, oh, it's because we together in a relationship, you gotta pay for everything. Nah. Wow. If you love somebody, give what you have too. Mm-hmm. It, this world is about connecting, it's about putting, t- it, it, you talking about relationship, we, we, do, we have a business we run. Mm-hmm. We, put yeah. the, we put our business wherever. We, imagine people in a relationship talking about they don't wanna put their, what they have together. You might have a nice car, you might have 50,000, you might, y'all don't wanna put what y'all have together. Combine it. The hell you trying to keep all your shit over here? But he got to give he got to give all his resources, every all the network he has. But you got to keep all your stuff over there. It doesn't make no sense. No, combine it, put it together. Well, yeah. I mean, and by the way, once you combine, you'll be able to achieve more. Yeah, a lot. Why you want to be 50 50 when you, you got 100 100? You're 100 100. It ain't, it's not 50 50. If y'all put it, it together, it's 100 100. That's 100. <laughs> <laughs> and, and guess what? You're actually saving money, people. Because that's what, if you had to, you're saying this. Okay, cool. We have to write, oh, we we want to pay some bills together. Instead of saying yeah. telling the person or her or him to pay the full bill, pay portion of the bill. That means portion of the money you have in your account, you actually save it. Instead of telling one person to spend all the equity on one thing, no, you actually save him money. So in the end, he the person either side is gonna have money for miscellaneous things like taking you on trips, vacationing, restaurants. You know, you're not thinking about that. You just want the person, oh, I got paid for everything. And at the end of the month, cool, he paid for everything. Don't worry about it. We'll pay for everything. And now you're wondering why he got only a half a ticket of gas. Or he can only take you to the movies. He can't take you to Dubai this week. You know why? Because <laughs> you want him to pay for all the bills. Yeah, he paid he all the bills. You got to wait six months now. That's the problem. Help save is about, you know. And, and first she, off. She want to be treated like a queen. Well, first off, if a woman meets a man who, with substance, he has a job. There's a lot of businessmen out here. You meet, you probably see on the street these women out here. You meet these business guys, if you see he already has substance, why don't you try to enhance it? Don't try to, oh, he got money, let me try to take the money with him. He got money, let's add to the money. Mm-hmm. If he's already up, add a, a, at least a 10,000, now we have 10,000 more than what I had. You don't have to add, you don't have to add 20,000. If I have 50,000 and you add 5,000, now we have 55,000. <laughs> it's like, why are you trying, you said, oh, he got 50,000, let me do, just find a way to take the weight. Now, now we lose the money, people. No, we're up. Let's learn. Let's let's learn how to stay up. Mm-hmm. It's like finding somebody. They give you a car, right? You got some gas in your car, right? Yeah. And you tell them, yo, I got gas in my car. Cool. Yo, I'm gonna put ten thousand dollars to get, get gas tank so it can enhance your gas tank. Not just use the gas I got in my car and that now is it's zero tank. And now you're wondering, yo, 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 yo. Yeah, I know I had no gas. I, I started off with a quarter tank. Mm-hmm. So you should have put. If it's at a quarter tank and you would have added ten dollars, you would have been over half a tank. So now you can go to another state. And I wouldn't be I wouldn't been calling you for my car. You could have been see people don't think like that. If you got something, try to enhance what people have. Go see Africa had the platform. That's why we enhance even go uh, to the black geo. We enhance oh, Mr. Obama has business. I see what I can do, add to it. Enhance it. Not take away from people. Enhance it. Now these people are thriving. Mm-hmm. Everybody we work with are thriving because we enhance what you did. We didn't take away. All people we work with, we didn't go and take away what you had. We say, oh, well, you already doing something? Let me see what I can add to it. So I can add to what you're doing. And it made it even greater. Right. So, it should do that with relationships, too. You find somebody with substance, try to see what you can add to it, not take away from it. Because you in the end, you're going to benefit from that. You know, people understand that. Wow. That's a problem. I like the discussion. Yeah, you, uh, you guys need to be part of the discussion. 
recommend something. I mean, it's all I, I do perceive this because I know in Africa, um, in Africa is a bit different. But you know, the con- the economic um, time in Africa might be different from what we experience in the Western world. In Africa, you find ladies might be staying at home; they're not working. Yeah. A man in Africa uh, is presumed to be the provider of the family, so regardless whether they have an official job or not they have to go out and look for money whether you're going to steal or not no one cares yeah. a man you have to be there mm-hmm. you have for the family yeah. but for a woman mm-hmm. without a job it's still okay mm-hmm. exactly yeah it's still okay you're gonna eat woman, woman but for a man no one's going to feed you yeah. they're, yeah. Bo- they're born with gifts yeah i was i wasn't born with i wasn't born with gifts I was born to go out there and get it. Exactly. <laughs> you are born, born, born to go out there. I was, well, I was, bu- I was built with this. I was built to what to do and go get it. Mm-hmm. Not with something given to me of a starter kit. Yeah. No, I had to make my own starter kits. Trust me, I used to, I used to employ my siblings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, real businessmen. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I had to go out there and get it. And you know, I don't care if my siblings. What? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was paying you. In teenage age, real hustler. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we had to go out and get. We had to go out and get it. Nothing was given. Now, like you just said, women can just sit there and be pretty. Yeah. And they go, and yeah, you can be broke and get a trip to Dubai. You can be broke. <laughs> you can get. You can be broke and get a trip to Dubai and get a trip to a great restaurant because you're a beautiful woman because you're born with privilege. When men we're not born with privilege, we have to earn that privilege. Even when some of us think we have privilege, or we think we're doing something, we still have. Our only. Our only. Um, you know, approval is when women approve us. Mm-hmm. No matter what we do in this world, as much as we do, if women don't approve what the hell we're doing, we ain't doing shit. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You know, so, because men has to really go out there and do what we do. Yeah. We really have to go there and achieve banging in people's head. It has to be written on a wall, a scripture of a pyramid, mm-hmm. then they'll respect it. Mm-hmm. Women need to be born and then boom, we respect it. Me, I gotta be respected. Somebody from the other side of the earth gotta put in work to say I'm legit. That's the thing about men. We really got to go out there and earn it. That's why men really have passion for the things we do. Because the things we did, we really had to do it rugged style. It wasn't just walking out the door and it was like, oh, we love the black deal. No, I had to bang in people's heads. You know what I'm saying? I had to force myself in people's face. Or even the business I do, I had to convince people it was a real something to work with. Um, any industry I work in, I had I work hard. Uh, any um, people I work with, I, I try to enhance their business. So nothing was given. You know, us men really gotta go out there and, and convince people. You're not even convince. You, you really just gotta get earn people's approval. Wow. You got to earn people's approval. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we wow. don't, we're not born with privilege. Amazing. Yeah. You guys, um, comment. Where are you watching the video from? Interact. How, how does it happen from where are you watching from? From your continent, your country. Yeah. Let's have a discussion, and um, allow me to end the video here. So with me. Well, Shabi from the Black Geo. From the Black Geo. But like, yeah. subscribe, yeah, people, like and please. subscribe. No, great content we doing. You know, right by some of the, some of the, before you leave, man. Yeah. Come on, come on now. Some of the pool. S- some gold That's a nice pool for people, uh, Lavinson people, yeah. Nairobi. Amazing. Amazing. Beautiful views. So, my name is Go See Africa. I'm a traveler and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. For now, have a good bye.